investment expenditure and uh, this is the part of theory of income and employment and uh, we are going to study the investment through keynesian keynesian model meaning of investment what is investment in an economic sense an investment is the purchase of goods <clears throat> that are not consumed today but are used in the future to create wealth so uh, if you are uh, going to purchase purchase goods to create wealth and you are going to use that product in future then it will be investment investment is of two type private investment and public investment public investment when investment undertaken by government is known as public investment and government often invest in project like building roads dams schools colleges transportation housing facility water supply gas supply etc and uh, private investment it refers to the expenditure incurred by the private entrepreneurs on the purchase of capital goods like purchasing new plants new machinery equipment factories offices building etc In our analysis of input and output determination, we confine ourselves to private investment only. So here we are going to study about private investment and not public investment. An investment in Keynesian sense does not imply purchasing of existing shares or securities, uh, uh, which we have studied in financial <clears throat> means. but here it means expenditure on creation of new capital assets such as plants equipment inventories construction work etc that helps in production so jitne bhi hamare capital assets hain agar hum usme expenditure karte hain to create new capital assets such as plants and new equipments new inventories jo ki hamare production process mein help karte hain jisse hamara output generate hota hai तो ये हमारे इन्वेस्टमेंट uh, कहलाता है एंड इन्वेस्टमेंट इज मेड नॉट ओनली मेंटेनिंग द प्रेजेंट लेवल ऑफ प्रोडक्शन बट आल्सो टू इंक्रीज द प्रोडक्शन कैपेसिटी इन फ्यूचर सो व्हेन बिजनेसमैन वांट टू एक्सपैंड द ऑपरेशन ऑफ स्केल और एक्सपैंड देयर बिजनेस इन फ्यूचर दे विल डेफिनेटली इन्वेस्ट इन्वेस्ट इन इन द प्लांट इन द बिल्डिंग ऑफ द Uh, organization or in the building of the factory to expand the business in the future and economic growth through investment hamari jo economy hai wo tabhi grow karti hai jab hum teen jo defined three categories hain unme investment karte hain basically purchase of new building if uh, in if in india we are uh, investing in new purchasing the new building for production purposes then because of this our economy will grow and if we are uh, investing in uh, creating the stock or in addition to the stock agar hum apna stock ko badhane ke liye usko increase karne ke liye investment kar rahe hain jisse jo hamari current productivity hai wo increase ho jaye current output increase ho jaye usse bhi hamari economy grow karti hai aur jab hum apne plant aur machinery mein investment karte hain jisse ki hamara jo business hai wo expand ho ya fir jo scale of operation hai business ka wo expand ho jaye usse bhi hamari economy grow karti hai that is why jo hamara current mein jo hamari jo indian government ne msme ko jo loan provide करे हैं लो इंटरेस्ट पे वो एक तरह से एक इन्वेस्टमेंट इन बिजनेस सेक्टर है जिससे कि लोग कम इंटरेस्ट पे लोन लेके इन्वेस्ट करेंगे अपनी फैक्ट्रीज में न्यू ऑन्टरप्रनर्स अपना ऑन्टरप्रनरशिप में इन्वेस्ट करेंगे जिससे हमारी इकोनॉमी ग्रो होगी और जो हमारी करंट इन्फ्लेशन की सिचुएशन है उससे हम रिकवर करेंगे इन्वेस्टमेंट फंक्शन Uh, unlike uh, consumption function in investment function there is a relationship between investment and rate of interest there is inverse relationship between investment and rate of interest types of investment in investment function uh, there are two categories of investment there is induced investment and autonomous investment what is induced investment when investment uh, is uh, vary with the level of income that is induced investment 
an autonomous investment when there is no change in the investment because uh, uh, and when income level does not affect the investment that is autonomous investment induced investment induced investment depends directly upon profit expectation to is investment mein hum hamesha compare karte hain ki hame future mein benefits jo hamara rate of return hai wo hame kitna ascertain hoga and agar hame wo zyada hoga tabhi hum induced investment karenge it is income elastic if national income income goes up then induced inflation sorry i wrote the wrong word here i am cutting the inflation here it means investment not inflation also goes up तो अगर हमारी नेशनल इनकम कंट्री की इनकम इंक्रीज होती है अगर कंट्री में रहने वाले जो फैमिलीज हैं हाउस होल्ड उनकी इनकम इंक्रीज होती है और उनकी इनकम इंक्रीज होने के वजह से हमारी इन्वेस्टमेंट इंक्रीज होती है वो हमारी इनकम इलास्टिक इन्वेस्टमेंट होती है जैसा कि आप देख सकते हैं वैन इंक्रीज इन द लेवल ऑफ इनकम लेट्स टू इंक्रीज इन डिमांड अगर हमारी इनकम इंक्रीज होने से हमारे जो कस्टमर गुड्स हैं उनकी डिमांड इंक्रीज होती है एंड टू कम्प्लीट सेटिस्फाई द डिमांड We have to increase the output. हम अपना प्रोडक्शन इंक्रीज कर सकते हैं जिससे कि हम उतनी सप्लाई क्रिएट कर सकें वो डिमांड को मैच करें और हमें सप्लाई और इंक्रीज करने के लिए आउटपुट इंक्रीज करने के लिए अपना बिजनेस एक्सपैंड करना पड़ेगा उसमें इन्वेस्टमेंट करना पड़ेगा उसमें पैसा लगाना पड़ेगा तो वो जो होता है वो हमारा इंड्यूस्ड इन्वेस्टमेंट होता है जिसमें हमारा जो इन्वेस्टमेंट डायरेक्टली वेरी करता है विद चेंज इन द लेवल ऑफ इनकम जैसे कि आप इस डायग्राम में देख सकते हैं When income is growing from 100 to 200 and 200 to 300 and 300 to 400 and so on. तो जैसा हमारी income increase हो रही है, आप देख सकते हैं हमारा investment भी increase हो रहा है. When uh, income was 100, then investment was 500. When income was 200, then investment was 80. it is gradually increasing and when investment was 170 when in, uh, income was 300 then investment is also growing aap dekh sakte hain ki ye grow kar rahi hai ye hamara positive relationship show kar rahi hai that is why jo curve hai hamara wo upward move kar raha hai ye positive movement show kar raha hai that is upward movement to the right it shows when income is increasing the investment is also increasing because of the increase in the income autonomous investment it is not affected by change in income level it is income inelastic the volume of autonomous investment is same at all levels of income also called independent investment and it is generally affected by autonomous factor other than income such as public utility work changes in nature of consumer demand increase in the population discovery of new resources new technology etc so hamari income isme vary nahi karti hai agar hamari income vary karti hai usse autonomous investment pe koi bhi effect nahi padta as you can see income is increasing from this point to this point but autonomous investment is constant at all levels of income see this line this is a constant line which is not changing here income is changing but investment is not changing because autonomous investment mein change kabhi aata hai jab hamare autonomous factor mein change aata hai and autonomous factor kaun se hote hain when uh, there is increase in population discovery of new resources new technology etc what determine investment in private enterprise economy investment demand in private enterprise economy depends mainly on two factor that is marginal efficiency of investment mei and rate of interest what is marginal efficiency of investment it is the expected rate of return or we can say the profit we uh, which we are going from additional we gain from additional marginal unit of investment 
अगर हम कहीं भी इन्वेस्टमेंट करते हैं और हम एडिशनल यूनिट ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट करते हैं और उससे हमें जो एक्सपेक्टेड रेट ऑफ रिटर्न मिलता है इन फॉर्म ऑफ प्रॉफिट दैट इज मार्जिनल एफिशिएंसी ऑफ इन्वेस्टमेंट एंड जो हमारा रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट होता है दैट इज द कॉस्ट ऑफ बोरोइंग फंड फ्रॉम इन्वेस्टमेंट फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ वी आर इफ यू आर गोइंग टू बोरो मनी Borrow funds from the bank. आप loan के form में वहां से funds borrow कर रहे हैं because you want to expand your business. अगर आपको नई factory डालनी है या अपना business expand करना है उसके लिए अगर हम bank से loan लेते हैं तो हमें उस पर particular interest देना पड़ता है That interest is rate of interest. That is cost of borrowing. The investor judge whether the expected rate of return on new investment is equal to or greater or less than the market rate of interest. तो so, investor जो होते हैं वो investment करने से पहले compare करते हैं judge करते हैं कि उन्हें particular new investment में उनको expected rate of return that is MEI कितना मिलेगा अगर एक्सपेक्टेड रेट ऑफ रिटर्न इज लेस देन द रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट देन वो फर्दर इन्वेस्टमेंट नहीं करेंगे अगर हमारे जो एक्सपेक्टेड रेट ऑफ रिटर्न ज्यादा होते हैं रेट ऑफ इंटरेस्ट से तभी बिजनेसमैन एडिशनल इन्वेस्टमेंट करता है या इन्वेस्टमेंट करता है मार्केट में सपोज अ बिजनेसमैन मेक एन एडिशनल इन्वेस्टमेंट बाय टेकिंग लोन ही हैज टू पे इंटरेस्ट ऑन इट व्हिच इज हिज एक्सपेंडिचर ऑन न्यू इन्वेस्टमेंट व्हिच आई हैव डिस्कस्ड बिफोर Before making investment, he would compare the interest he has to pay on loan and the profit he is expected to get on his investment. Whichever is higher than on the basis of that analysis, then he will make the decision regarding the investment. Thus, three elements which are important to understand the investment are revenue, cost, and expectation. Because on the basis of revenue, cost, and expectation, we make investment decisions. I hope you got this topic.